This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mark Linsangin from Techno Buffalo, and on today's episode of Rumor Roundup, we'll be talking a bit about the OnePlus X, Samsung's Galaxy S7, and Apple's iPhone 7. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. OnePlus hasn't been shy about its plans to launch a cheaper handset later this year. Now, a new rumor claims the device will arrive as soon as next month at an extremely affordable price. Gizmo China reports that the OnePlus X is set to launch this October, citing credible factory sources. The device will apparently feature less than cutting edge specs, including a Snapdragon 801 processor and a 5 inch display. As a result, the price could be as low as $249. Even so, the OnePlus X may still be a pretty impressive device. The Chinese upstart previously said it's focusing on design with this phone, which hopefully means a sleek new look. Based on a recent leak render, the upcoming handset will also sport a fingerprint reader in the back along with a dual camera setup. Earlier this week, a OnePlus executive confirmed plans for an affordable handset launching this fall. However, he also noted that the company was hoping to launch in early November, so it seems unlikely we'll see the device unveiled a month earlier in October, though it's possible OnePlus could start teasing the new smartphone within the next few weeks. Last month, a report out of Korea claimed Samsung could pack the Galaxy S7 with a pair of cameras in the back. Now, a new rumor claims that this feature won't make the cut though the company is apparently still hard at work on a dual lens setup. According to ET News, Samsung plans to finish up its camera design before the end of this year. However, it won't actually release a smartphone with a new feature until after the Galaxy S7 is already in stores. The report notes that Samsung won't slap a dual lens camera onto any of its smartphone until it thinks the market is ready. That time could arrive pretty soon. Dual camera setups are becoming increasingly popular in new high-end phones, HTC, Huawei, and most recently LG have all tried including the feature with varying success. Apple even acquired Lynx Computational, a startup working on its own dual camera design earlier this year. The main advantage of these cameras is typically the option to refocus and edit your pictures after you take them. LG's new V10 also lets you take two different selfies at once or swap between wide angle and standard lenses thanks to a pair of front facing shooters. For now, we'll need to wait for Samsung to join the fray. Apple knows how to make great smartphones, but there are a few areas where the iPhone lags far behind its competition. Wireless charging is still missing in action, as is water-resistant design, even if the latest phones still worked after submersion in one test, but Apple may have a fix for at least one of those issues coming next year. The new feature is apparently still in early testing, though Cupertino may already have a few working prototypes. The same tipster also says the iPhone 7 won't feature a metal design, instead the company will reportedly adopt an entirely new material. It's unclear if this is a result of making the phone water resistant or an unrelated change. Either way, it could mean the end of Apple's classic metal style. The iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus just hit stores last week, so we're not expecting a new handset from Apple until around this time next year. Of course, that hasn't stopped fans from speculating over what else the device could offer, including wireless charging, a USB-C port, and a sharper display. Apple has plenty of time to decide what new features it wants to introduce with the iPhone 7, and it sounds like the company is already testing out a few interesting ideas. Let me stop this video real fast and thank our friends over at Domain.com. Domain.com is the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting email needs. Domain wants to hook our fans up with a pretty cool offer, save 20% on domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO at Domain.com's checkout. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Rumor Roundup. Anything that I talked about in this video will be in the link down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next one.